Hey guys, so I just wanted to say thank you for all of your feedback and comments and likes and subscriptions to the channel here. Really awesome uh, to get your feedback and I wanted to do a question answer video here. So a little while ago I threw this up on uh, Instagram and Facebook. The response was literally overwhelming so uh, I won't be able to get to everybody's uh, question but it's really interesting to, to know what you guys are interested in, what you want to know about. So what we'll try to do is uh, get some of that content into other videos if I'm not able to answer it here. So anyway, let's get into your questions and uh, get to it here. So have I ever been interested in powerlifting? I've uh, been a fan of powerlifting for a long time and and um, you know, I, I'm just a fan of uh, Lifting big weights. So for me personally, I've never competed in a powerlifting contest I went basically straight from basketball into strongman and I haven't looked back since then I've uh, Thought about doing a powerlifting contest at some point in time. So maybe in the future that can happen I don't know um, you know when exactly that might happen, but if I do it, it will be raw, a hundred percent for sure. It'll be a raw powerlifting competition. Uh, favorite fast food. If I ever get a fast food meal, uh, I would say right now off the top of my head, Chick Fil A. Um, and for anybody international or or anybody that doesn't know what that is, they make the best chicken sandwiches, hands down. It's not even comparable. So that's what I would go with right now because if I could go get something right now, that's what I would get. I discovered that I was stronger than the average strong guy uh, probably a little bit later on in life. I, uh, you know, as a kid, Looking back, I did some pretty crazy things as a kid that, that I thought were normal just because they weren't that hard for me to do. And I learned some of that um, working on my uncle's farm uh, growing up. It's just things that I had to do, um, you know, physical, manual labor. And I thought it was normal. I, I thought it was just everybody was able to do that kind of stuff. And, uh, um, you know, later on in life, looking back, you know, through my athletic career and, uh, you know, as I started lifting weights, I, I, you know, made strength gains very quickly um, that were, you know, I guess not really normal. But I, you know, I, I've been gifted all along. It's just I've been able to do things that other people couldn't do uh, just very easily, normally. So looking back, that picture became more clear for me. But at the time, if that makes sense, when I was a kid and, you know, through high school and, and um even into college a little bit, I didn't realize how gifted I actually was. So, you know, something that, that was, you know, that light bulb kind of went off a little bit later in life when I was able to do all these really crazy things um, that to me weren't that crazy, but to other people were not normal. So, you know, if, I guess if, if that answers your question, um, hopefully it does, man. Can I use normal toilets? Yes, I can. I prefer bigger toilets. Let's put it that way. Hey Owen, that's a great question. And at the age you're at right now, um, you're essentially just laying the framework for the rest of your career. You're at a really exciting point. You're gonna get a lot stronger in the next few years. Um, and you want that progress to continue. So what you want to do is uh, try to make sure that, that you're um, especially doing all of the events with the correct technique. And the best way uh, for me to answer this honestly is um, I've got these questions for a really long time. So what I've done is I created a website called Strongman Academy that you can find and sign up for. And, and there's literally, uh, I don't even know how many videos, uh, close to 200 now on there going over events, techniques, setup, what to wear, um, essentially everything you need to know uh, to be successful uh, with the sport. And um, once you're a member of that site, you can ask me questions that I answer on a, on a weekly basis. Uh, there's a forum that, where I can help you out as well as the other members of the site can help you out. So it's a really, really good resource, something I would highly recommend uh, if you wanna learn and uh, be the best strong man you possibly can be.
So this, this is a really good question actually. Uh, my body weight and nutrition has changed uh, based on the competition that I'm getting ready for. And over the years, I've tried to work uh, with my nutritionist to basically come in better. I wanna come in better. I wanna find the right package with my body, with how much I'm weighing, uh, how much body fat I'm carrying, how much muscle I have, you know, different things like that, um, essentially to be the best strongman I possibly can be. So I feel like I found a very good balance at this point with where I need to be based on the competition that I'm getting ready for. But that process is constantly evolving and it has to be constantly evolving because I'm trying to get better. So if I was satisfied or happy or content, uh, I, I really wouldn't know what that would feel like. I'm just constantly striving to get better. So we've got a new plan, uh, for example, right now that we're working on uh, to bring an even better package to the Arnold next year, which is the next contest I'm getting ready for. So, you know, at this point, um, the plan is laid out, it's in place, and now it's just up to me, um, honestly, to work as hard as I can at, um, implementing it and, and eating what I need to every day and getting all my food in, making sure that, that uh, I'm handling all of that. So really good question, but I feel like I'm, I've definitely found that, that uh, happy um, spot for myself um, where I'm the best that I possibly can be. So th this is a great question as well. Uh, and the answer to this hands down would be Bill Kazmaier. I would, uh, really, really like to have uh, Bill Kazmaier, Zadruna Savickas, and myself all in our prime, all at our best, head-to-head -head matchup uh, to see, um, you know, truly with, with a balanced set of events, a good set of events, uh, probably 10 of them uh, at the minimum, to test every aspect of strength. I would really, really love that. I mean, right now, just even talking about it is exciting. But it's unrealistic to have that that happen but it you know to answer your question if i could keep, i've got to compete against adrunas which has been uh you know in my opinion the greatest rivalry ever in the sport of strongman him and i um but you know bill kazmaier if he could be in that mix with us i'm sure that he would like nothing more than to have that as well and i think that it, it, you know for the for the true fans of strongman i think i think that would be the matchup uh that everybody would want to see Burger or pizza is a great question and actually a fairly tough question to answer, but I'm assuming we're talking about a cheat meal. So for me, a uh, cheat meal is gonna be pizza almost every single time. That's just something, I, I would rather have a, a massive pizza um, at that point. But honestly, right now, if I, I had to choose, it'd be a tough call because both of them sound pretty good. So this is actually a really good question because, uh, you know, as, as, as I went through my uh, strongman career, there certainly have been setbacks for me. There's, there's as you said in your question, uh, definitely been big accomplishments, but also uh, setbacks and, um, you know, speed bumps, if you will, that I had to find a way to get around or to overcome, um, you know, and, and uh, you mentioned in your question, not getting high, too high or too low that kind of hits a nail on the head, honestly, because, you know, as I've gone through and without listing everything, you know, there, there uh, certainly have been points where I had to kind of take a step back and, you know, you have training plateaus, you have mental barriers to break through, you have a lot of different things along the way. Um, you know, so for me, what I try to do is set small goals to accomplish that help me to, to break through those plateaus to get, you know, past, whatever setback or, or whatever I have going on. And then as I accomplish those small goals, um, those lead to the bigger goals that I eventually wanted to accomplish. And that, that really helped me along the way, um, you know, so don't, everybody talks about setting goals, but you don't wanna set your goals too big because if you set goals that are too big, it, it, it never seems like you're getting closer to them and, and, and kind of, um, you know, making those small steps that you need to, to accomplish them. So set small goals, uh, you know, take everything in stride. Don't get too high or too low. 
uh, and, and um, honestly, just just keep grinding. I mean, you're gonna have great days, you're gonna have tough days, you're gonna have uh, everything kind of in between as well. And all of those days are a day where you can get better. So that's what I try to tell myself even now to this day. And, and uh, you know, if you can get better, you can take a step forward. Uh, that That's exactly what you need to keep doing. So great question, thank you for that. And hopefully that answers it. Uh, they're, they're, Strongman's a great sport because there's so many uh, events that were iconic, um, you know, that I watched as a kid growing up and I think a lot of people associate with the sport of Strongman. Uh, some of those things are good events, some of those things were not safe events. Uh, and, and so, you know, of the examples you used, uh, like the bar bending, I think that's something that's, that's uh, really not safe at all. I think it, it you know, wasn't really that entertaining. I think it became more entertaining, you know, watching the guys get hurt, which sounds terrible, but um, there was some, some injuries that happened with that especially. And I think that it's, you know, there's better ways to test strength, I guess, answering that question. Now, something like the girl squat, I think they should totally bring back. I think that would be a great, amazing event. It's a spectacle. It's something that tests strength very well. Um, you know, and, and it's visual. It's something that would be fun for people to watch, fun for, uh, you know, the, the competitors to do. So something like that would be great. Um, you know, there's, there's almost too many old strongman events to kind of list off, but, you know, some of them have needed to be replaced, uh, you know, and, and es essentially modified to some extent to be safer for the competitors, uh, as well as better strength tests. All right, so that's all the time we've got today to answer questions. I really t appreciate all of you taking the time out to ask the questions and we'll try to get to everything that we possibly can in the future. Um, as always, really appreciate all the support and thank you for checking the video out.